What's up guys, it's Alec Mack 111 and today we're gonna to be talking about mags. How many mags should I run in a specific event? Why should I run that many mags? How many rounds can I even have in an event? So I'm at an American Mill Sim game. If you guys haven't seen my most recent videos, I'm here at uh, 1.30 in the morning filming at, at the Guardian Center in Perry, Georgia because I got here early with my boss Wallace and we're doing some sweet filming and stuff. So I'm gonna go over specifically why I run the setup I run and how many mags I like to use. So for an event like this, um, I decide to run six mags on the front, two on this right side, and then I have one mag in the back of this taco if I'm not running a tornado grenade, and one mag in the gun. So for you mathletes out there, six plus eight plus one plus one is 10. So 10 mags is usually what I run for an American Milsim game. Now I do have the opportunity of running some more mags in my mini map right here. I can run four in the top if I wanted to go crazy, if I was playing like 24 hour game maybe, and then I might add another. I have some blank space on my hashtag Taylor Swift. I have some blank space on the back of my t uh, plate carrier. So if I ever wanna, I have a triple that I can throw on if I'm playing like a really long game. But who even has like 17 mags? That'd be retarded. I literally would be hilarious. That's gonna be so heavy, especially with the system of PTW mags. But nonetheless, I run six mags on the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk about two different types of games that I mainly play. And these are pretty, pretty obvious. I'll throw in a third just kind of category. But there's either Milsim games or you have your fast pace. A lot of you guys probably that watch my channel are from California and run those fast pace games. Cool thing about my setup is I run a Cry JBC. This is one of the big reasons why I picked this vest. I can take three mags out of this middle section. You can see right here how there's kind of a little flop around now, and then I can tighten it. Just push it back and it'll Velcro there. So I can just run three mags there, and then I can run two on the side. Now this is a Blue Force Gear triple mag pouch. I really, really like this mag pouch for pretty much any plate carrier. It just holds the mags really tight, really snug, right close to my body. So I bought two of them. I have a Multicam 3N here, and then I have a dual Coyote one right here. So you can see just kind of how it looks. It doesn't get in my way if I do run a sidearm, which I don't that often because I don't really need it. Um, but if it does, get, it doesn't really get in the way of my draw if I'm going to do that. But it's really cool because like any normal pouch would get in the way of that. But because Blue Force Gear mag pouches are so small and these cummerbund and this JVC is so lightweight and skeletonized, it's pretty great. The other event that I will run a lot of mags for, I usually, I think for sort of like, uh, I saw, for the American Milsim games, I, like I said, I run 10. But for the kind of like Fallen Warriors, for those of you guys that are local, those games that probably take two or three hours, it honestly depends kind of, if there's mag restrictions, um, I'll obviously, I almost always run mid caps. If there's no mag restrictions, I'll run like one or two high caps in the back just in case like one of my teammates or a new guy gets in and really need, runs out of ammo because he doesn't know how to bring, I'll leave those for those guys. Or if I'm really like spraying BBs or there's a ton of guys, I can just have an extra high cap there. But for the most part, I run mid cap magazines. About 120 rounds is what I normally have. These system ones I think are 120 rounds. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I think these are the, I think, yeah, these are genuine system. At least some of them are. Some of them I think are Celsius. Like I said, I just, <laughs> I just got this new gun. So she's pretty. Um, but yeah, this, it's, it's, it's pretty cool just to kind of like see the evolution of how I have a player. I used to run a chest rig. I used to run, like, I went from chest rig to plate carrier to chest rig to plate carrier. And then just like finally derived with this Cry JPC. I've had it for three years. I really like this rig. This is like, oh, Alec, everybody should buy a JPC now because you have one, you idiot. No, it's, I think you should run whenever plate carrier is comfortable. I have just settled on the Cry JPC and I'm not going back. I literally don't see any other plate carriers that is great. I might run a Haley's uh, DCR3, something like that. If I want to run a, like a chest rig and just play lightweight, if I'm running like a really long range sniper or something and just want to be able to run as like faster. But for the most part, honestly, you don't need it. It's really up to you guys, but I would really recommend having at least eight mags if you're going to play at a Milsim game. You're going to be doing a lot of shooting. Sometimes you're going to have to shoot. Sometimes Sometimes you're gonna have to supply a buddy with mags, um, but I would say I would suggest don't run any lower than five because that just it's really hard. And if you have to reload on the go and stuff, you're just gonna be out. Um, it's not gonna be as much fun for you guys. And if you have the right setup, you can run eight mags. Like I said, I run eight mags super easy. I don't even have to have mags in my back. I literally just have them right here and right there, and it eliminates my need to have lower reloads. I sometimes used to run fast mags, which were great. I was so quick at reloading with those, but I ended up getting pretty quick just going right here and and, and switching. I'm almost as quick with that as I am with say like a lower belt or if I want to have an ITW fast mag or something like 
like that. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this is helpful. I'm going to start doing uh, more of these like Tactic Tuesday videos and stuff like that just to help you guys out and just kind of explain more, for, especially for you newer players. I really want to help you guys. I've been playing Milsim for what, like 17 years now. I just turned 20 last week, so I've, I have a lot of experience. I'm just kidding. I haven't played that long, but yeah, um, I've played for like... And Wallace, is, Wallace, my boss, has played for like two centuries, it feels like. The dude knows everything about Airsoft. Um, but yeah, I've played, I've played for a good six, seven years of Milsim, so I know kind of what I'm talking about, and I really want to help you guys that are newer players just kind of come up and get what gear you kind of need. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Alec Mack 111, and I will see you guys later.